Hello again guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do another video in the series of common retouching issues. So today this video is going to be all about how to correct an underexposed image in Photoshop. So I'm just going to get straight into it and say that the best way to do this is to always shoot raw. Um, I know that sometimes it can be difficult for people to shoot raw all the time, especially if they've got smaller, you know, CF cards or memory cards in general um, in their camera. So if you're really wanting to shoot raw, it's always good to have memory cards or CF cards that are probably around at least 8 gig or so because raw files are a lot larger than a JPEG file. So they're going to take up more space on the CF or memory cards. So the first thing I'm going to say is definitely, you know, always shoot raw if you can, uh, because you have so much more to work with. So once you do shoot in raw, your images will appear in camera raw. So this is kind of like a pre-editing area for your photos where once you edit them through camera raw you can then convert them into a jpeg file or a psd i usually do psd because it retains the image quality whereas jpeg will lose image quality so because i always like to edit in photoshop after camera raw that's what i like to do with camera raw it's actually i find very easy to use um, maybe some people that haven't used camera raw as much before they might find it a little bit hard the first few times they use it but this is generally what the interface looks like it's pretty simple you've got similar tools to what are actually used in Photoshop um, so you've got your exposure recovery is one that I don't think is in Photoshop CS5 anyway um, and it's a very good tool to use especially for overexposed images and I may do a video on, on trying to correct overexposed images, but sometimes there's not really a lot you can do with those if they are too overexposed. So anyway, this will be all about underexposed images. You've got fill light, blacks, brightness, contrast, clarity, vibrance, and saturation. And then you also have these tabs over here that you can always go through and, and have a look at what they do. I may have a more detailed video actually on how to edit raw images through camera raw and I think that might be easier uh, but for today I'm just going to explain how to quickly bring back detail into an underexposed image the main tools I tend to use in camera raw are exposure fill light and blacks for underexposed images so I'm just going to up the exposure here on this photo as you can see it's very dark so I'll probably just lighten it to about 1.9 and then I'm going to bring the blacks down because as you can see it's very dark very dark shadows so the blacks will be mainly the shadows that are going to be lifted so I'll do that to yeah probably about two and the fill light I might just up a little bit too just to make it not so contrasted okay so after you've done your editing in camera raw you can then save the image and then open it in Photoshop so I usually save it as a PSD like that and then you can just click cancel once you've saved the image so as you can see that was really easy to bring back a lot of the detail in raw photograph uh, if this was a JPEG photo it wouldn't be as easy so what I'm actually going to do is show you how to do it on a JPEG image as well and that will be within Photoshop not camera raw because it's not a raw file okay so I've just opened up the JPEG image in Photoshop the same photo and I'm going to show you guys how to try and edit underexposed JPEGs in Photoshop because it is a lot harder to get detail back into the image. Having said that, I generally like to shoot a little bit more underexposed. Um, I, so I do it on purpose actually because it's always better to have a really underexposed image than a really overexposed image. Uh, if it's too overexposed, you're not going to be able to get a lot of detail back into the image. Whereas underexposed, it gives you a, a little bit more to work with because there is more detail in it. 
three main tools I generally like to use if, if a photo is underexposed is in Photoshop, generally curves. So always working on adjustment layers just down here as well. Uh, curves, levels, brightness and contrast, and sometimes exposure as well. So there's probably four tools that I tend to use. Curves I find to be the best for uh, correcting underexposed images. So if we go up to adjustments, I've just added an adjustment layer for curves. I'm just going to map out some areas where that need to be a little bit brighter. And as I said, curves will give you the best freedom in doing this because some of the other tools are just focusing more on the shadows and highlights, which you will probably need, but curves are just so versatile. All right, so that's kind of lifted it a bit. The hardest parts to lighten up will be these really dark blacks. So as you saw in Camera Raw, that was totally easy to edit. Um, they do have an option to lighten the blacks and you've got detail in there. However, if it's a JPEG image, it is very hard to get the detail out of there. So that's why it's a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to get another adjustment layer on there and it's going to be levels. So I'll just brighten it up a little bit there. I'm just going to bring some of the blacks a little bit more down because they're starting to look a little bit grey which it's kind of hard to avoid that. Uh, you may find also in JPEG images that are very underexposed, you will probably get a little bit more grain or noise. So it's always good to kind of do a bit of a noise reduction, unless that's the effect that you're going for, which, you know, um, it's kind of a popular trend these days to have a lot of film grain or noise in photos, so that can work too. Uh, so I'm going to just take a snapshot and I'm going to show you the before. So that's what it looked like then and that's what it looks like now. So I think we can probably do one more adjustment layer and that would probably be exposure. And I generally don't like to use these tools too much, offset and gamma correction, because they can, well, they can have the potential to ruin an image if you go overboard with them. But... I'm just going to lighten that up a little bit with the gamma correction and see if the offset is going to, uh, it's going to look a little bit grey so I'm just going to leave it as zero. Alright so that's pretty much the best we can do with this particular image being that it is a JPEG so that's the original and that's what it looks like now so I'll just zoom in. And as you can see, there's not there's not really a lot of detail in it. That's why I always prefer to shoot raw, but I understand sometimes that's not possible. And um, I just wanted to make this tutorial really because it happens to me a lot, especially if you're in a rush and you don't have time to change your settings and by accident you might get a really underexposed image and it could be a great image, but um, I would always recommend if you have the time to definitely try and reshoot the same image so you don't have to do this in post-processing, pretty much like anything, um, but you know, it happens from time to time and this is kind of a good way to do it, I feel anyway, to correct it. So, alright guys, that's the end of the tutorial, so thank you very much for watching again and I'll see you next time.